Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the error interval for a number rounded to one significant figure. So let's have a look at the two examples. So we've got to write down the error interval for the number 70 rounded off to one significant figure. So since it's one significant figure, it's been rounded to that first number here, which is the tens column. Okay, so it was rounded off to the nearest 10. So that means our scale was going up in 10. So if you write down the value above the scale, so 70 add 10 is 80, and the number below 70 will be 60 on our scale. And all we need to do now is get the halfway points. So halfway between 60 and 70 is 65. Halfway between 70 and 80 is 75 so this number here is our lower bound that's the lowest number it could be and 75 is our upper bound okay so we just need to use these two now to write down our error interval so to do our error interval you need to put the lower bound first then a less than or equal to sign then the letter n because it's just our number that we rounded off then we put a less than sign and then we put the upper bound at the end. So an error interval always takes this form here. Okay, so we're going to put our lower bound first, which is 65, then a less than or equal to, then n, then less than, and then our upper bound is 75. So this is our final answer. So let's move on to example two then. So we've got to write down the error interval for 4,000 rounded to one significant figure. So again, it's been rounded to that first digit. So our first digit is in the thousands column this time. So that means our scale is going up by a thousand each time. So if we put write 4,000 down, the number above 4,000 on the scale would be 5,000. And the number before 4,000 would be 3,000. So if we take the halfway points, that will give us the lower bound and the upper bound. So halfway between 3,000 and 4,000 is 3,500. And halfway between 4,000 and 5,000 is 4,500. So again, this is our lower bound and this is our upper bound. So to get, a, get the error interval, we put the lower bound first, which is 3,500. Then you put a less than or equal to sign. Then you put the letter N, and then you put the upper bound at the end. So make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.